<laughs> Everything they do is so high quality and so, so good. Oh, oh my gosh. Th yeah, this is like shallow in basketball. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Oh, Neo them. Yo, that was cool though. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Stick around to the end to see how you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Oh my gosh, we have some great clips for you today. There's some deep dives, there's some great clips, there's some bad clips, there's everything in between, and I'm really excited to share. We're here today for a much anticipated episode, mostly for me. I was anticipating this episode because the last time we tried to do a Bollywood one, well, our warm up clip ended up taking over the entire episode, and that's <laughs> our, our, our react video to Saho, which is a great film. Go watch it. But you got more clips this time. Yes, because, yeah, you know, I didn't come to that episode with just goofs. I actually did some research and I had a couple other things and I had some fun facts and well, today we finally get to do it. I steeled my mind so that I don't get driven insane a second time. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this actor named Prithik Roshan and he's one of the highest paid actors in Indian cinema. We're talking about multi-million dollar deals for these films and it is nuts. One of the most famous pictures he's in is a series called Krish. Let's watch a clip from Krish 3. It's a very famous scene. To get ourselves re-familiarized with where we're heading right Where now. we're heading? Yeah. I know where this is going. So obviously there's a problem with the plane. Someone's gonna have to save the day. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> oh, I remember this dude, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, he's very fast and he flies through the sky. Dude, Neo POV. Dude, all these CG buildings though, it's uh, pretty solid. <laughs> What's interesting about this shot here, so the buildings that you see in the foreground are all 3D, but right behind, that's all just like a matte painting in the background. There's not any depth to it. Those are not 3D buildings. It's all just a photo that is tracked into the scene. And it's far enough away that you're not gonna get the parallax that shows that it's just a flat image. And then a green screen element of him jumping down and landing. Just vibrating with energy. <laughs> I feel like Indian VFX took basically what VFX were in 2008 and then perfected all those techniques. And like when we were getting into YouTube, like what the VFX we were doing, like Indian cinema <laughs> is that <laughs> perfected. Do the like shot. look at this shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shot that we would do in they 2010. They freeze-frame time more of them? They ran out of the render, but they still had to keep the shot going, so they just freezed it on the last frame. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> what up? Wee. That's how to get faster. Wee. Wee. I'm gonna get so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> dude, what if he missed? <laughs> what if he missed? And that dude's straining. <gasps> Apparently that people really die that tough. way. <laughs> oh, getting crushed in the landing gear? Did it. Oh, they got a camera? <laughs> we good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We good. <laughs> Look at this. He's like, all right, time to shine. No going back. This is a dude on the front of the airplane. <laughs> yeah, they just 2D track him on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a bit of a 3D track there. there <gasps> there's parallax. <laughs> he is the suspension system. Yo, dude. 
Hey, Hi. Hi. Hey, bye. Whoa, what the? Oh, he, he just flies, he just flies? <laughs> Wait. I thought he had a jump. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, that's the magic of Bollywood, you know? Oh, snap, Krish. Do you think like Indian actors like this are like aware of how fun and perhaps goofy their pieces are? Like, do you think they take themselves really seriously? Or do you think they're like, nah, man, this is just entertainment. We're out here to have a good time and make people laugh. But I hope it's the latter. Me too. Because I mean, it's working. I'm having a great time. I think what happened here is Indian cinema just leaped over American cinema and they just adapted anime into live action before we did. Exactly. We've talked about that yeah. before. It's a Hollywood cartoon. is essentially just anime IRL. Yeah. yeah. It's not about looking real. It's about being fun and conveying funny ideas. And while looking as cool as you possibly can. I mean, those can. dust shots are cool. Like, I'm yeah. down. It's comparable to Matrix Resurrections. <laughs> 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 it's comparable. I'm not saying it's better or worse. So let's turn back the clock here. So we're gonna go on a little deep dive exploration on the Krish series. So we just watched the clip from Krish 3. So we're gonna go back one movie and watch Krish. Wait, Wait, one movie? Yes, it goes Krish 3, and then you go back to the movie before it called Krish. What happened to Krish 2? <laughs> Wait. Krish 2, I believe, doesn't exist. So there's actually a film before Krish called Koi Melgaya. <laughs> <laughs> and I think as they were making the films, they renamed the second one to Krish. And then when the uh, one after that came out, they're like, should we call it Krish 2? And they're like, well, it's technically the third movie, so it's Krish 3 now. And so like, okay. Okay, I but see that logic. So do you think he's into cosplay and he made the mask himself? I think like we're watching like Steve Vai as a superhero. <laughs> Who's that guy? Yeah, he's evil. That's who he is. His identity? Evil. Whoa. That was Wait, a cool, whoa, that's a cool shot. Up. Yeah. That's a, that's a real shot there. Yeah, it looks like that's it's real. That's a dope real. shot. That's cool. And the camera guy got to do the stunt too? Yeah. <laughs> the camera guy got to do the stunt. <laughs> it's like... Oh, is he going to stand on the fountain to get a super boost? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, He's like Mario! <laughs> Wait, there's a scene. It's just... It's just like Mario. It's wow. Like Mario. The color grading. There's all these power windows happening. Power windows are when you like isolate a little spot to like brighten it. And if you look, you see there's like a really bright circle around him like at all times here. In the close up here. <laughs> ooh, ooh. This is 2006 Need more way. feather. This is a very convoluted way to chase a helicopter. <laughs> now he's swimming? <laughs> like a dolphin? <laughs> Who are these guys? Oh, what the heck? Hold on. Why so, are they in trees? So, so here we go. Now we're getting like full anime here. So get off our island. We'll beat them with machetes. This is like a side quest because I don't think they have anything to do with the main bad guy. <laughs> they just, they're just like inhabitants of the small island. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, look at those CG yeah. trees. They don't look too bad. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so intense. This is pure anime. This is 100% yeah. anime yeah, right now, here. Yeah, now it's just like full anime. <laughs> this is full anime commitment. I love it. Cool, interesting technique on the blurry backgrounds where you just take the camera and whip it around and that's your footage. But, but, just, but it's just like, it's, it's like changing directions. Yeah, a little more planning would have been cool. <laughs> <laughs> but then and it ends with that shot. I mean, that's a dope shot. So he's in the boss's lair, all right? And this is it. He's, oh, there's doves. <laughs> Ding. Oh no. Wait, what is this dumpy dude gonna do? Hi, I'm just a normal 50 year old man fighting you and I have a gun. All right, so question of the day, who is that? Indian Al Pacino. No, who's the person in the wheelchair? Is it it's, him? It's in Chris's is it, twin brother. It's his twin brother, yeah. No, it's his father. Oh. oh. Papa? Is it just the same actor? Yeah, it's the same actor. <laughs> father, father. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool split shot. That's smart. So all they're doing is the head and torso is just a separate layer on the left. Yeah, okay. And the hand is someone else's hand. Yeah. Actually, I didn't even notice that shot, but that's like, it's super clever and really convincing. Yeah, looks Bravo. good. Bravo! Hey! What? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, Neo the them. Yo, that was cool though. <laughs> that shot is definitely backwards. And they reversed it. Wait, really? Yeah, watch his hair. Watch his hair. Oh my god, you're right. <gasps> Here we go. Dude, look at the oh. low poly bullet. <laughs> the low poly bullet. Wait, there's wait, 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 wait. Time out. Time <laughs> he out. shot this one so fast. He shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he shoot twice or was it one shot? He shot twice. One shot? That they're both in the air at the same time. <laughs> Two shot. He goes like bang, bang. And then, but they're still like perfectly light. <laughs> All right, you know how he gets out of this, right? You know how he saves them, right? I think he's going to take that fire extinguisher and 
hit one bullet and take the other. Okay, interesting. Okay. I'm gonna make two guesses. I know it's cheating. Make two guesses. Guess number one is he hits one bullet into the other bullet. Oh my god, that's to it. knock it out of the way. That's oh my guess god. Guess number two is vote? more convoluted. He grabs the bad guy, picks him up. He throws them in front of the bullets, and he has the bad guy take both shots. <laughs> <Somehow>. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> All right, let's find out. Here we go. He's got to go. Fast. Fast. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, that's crazy. There it is. Get hit the one bullet. Oh, come on. Oh, they have straight up, just straight up matrix triples. Ding. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he blocked the bullet and took a bullet. That was yeah, good. that was my yeah, guess. Yeah, right, right, bravo, Ren. You called it. <laughs> He's not holding that. It's a CG fire extinguisher the whole time. He's just running, and they CG'd his fingers in to make it look like he was holding it. Do you think they filmed that plate of him flying just standing up? Probably. Look at his hair. Yeah, he's just standing up. He's just standing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, look at his feet. Look at his feet. He's just standing up on a green screen. Oh, I love how scrappy Indian cinema is. It, like, it really makes it feel approachable. Like, I can do it. I can go out there and I can make movies. And it's true, you can go out there and make movies. He could punch you into what? another dimension. Oh, right through him! Ooh. He ripped the back of his suit and he punched him so hard. Oh, right into the computer. Oh, wait, they filmed that in two separate shots. Yeah. There's like a plate of glass shattering and then a plate of him hitting the ground. Because it's not a stunt double bonking the ground there. It's oh, like yeah. the actual actor. I feel like there's a commitment to physicality in Indian cinema. Where like, if you're an actor, you have to like be physical and do some of the cool stuff that your character is doing. I always appreciate that. So yeah, I know the questions you're asking. Like, this father character, what's going on? Yeah, and this, that computer at the this end? This old computer. The star? What's this magic star? Well, like, okay, how do you think he got his superpowers? Wait, what the heck? What? <laughs> and one night, a spaceship descended on their town. Oh, wow. And some, some aliens! aliens <laughs> it. Oh, I could not go back! And that is how Wait, he meant hold to up, do. hold up. <laughs> <laughs> he meant oh, to man. do! <laughs> <laughs> Supernatural powers. Oh my! Did you pass the Rohit? So we, we're we're, we're peeling we're oh peeling back the layers. <laughs> so basically, the alien made his father smart again. He restored his IQ, and then he gave him supernatural abilities. And then when Jadu left, he lost his IQ points, but retained the superhuman <laughs> physical abilities. And so when he was born, he got all the best. Of, he got the best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's the flashback scene. So that's a great segue. Let's watch Cornel Gaia a little bit, which is technically Krish 1, but it's a different movie completely. If what we're watching right now is like a Marvel movie, Cornel Gaia is like an 80s Steven Spielberg kids movie. It is insane how they managed to transition the story from a one genre film to a completely different one. <laughs> Yes, okay, well, it's, I, oh, it's I feel okay, like okay. we're watching these scenes without enough context still. That's the point of the show. The thing is, like, you'll be like, why is it a basketball game, which is a full team of adults versus one adult and then a bunch of children? <laughs> I don't exactly know that answer, but I do know that the reason he's playing with the children is because he is mentally a child. But the thing is, is that he's met Jadu by this point. <laughs> so not only has superhuman abilities, but he has the IQ of the adults. <laughs> Oh, he just dunked so high on that basket. So he's doing what? Well. See, uh, yeah, see? See, that's the pivotal plot point. We can't jump any higher. We're too young. It's like, Jadu, I really could use a hand. <laughs> 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 Wait, is Jadu a sack? Are they going to realize that this, like, random burlap sack? that's sitting on the court is like... An <laughs> alien? Is this an alien or like a bomb or what's going on? Jadu gets his energy from the sunlight. If we put the alien in the bag, how can we harness his magic powers? <laughs> Everyone's like, hmm. Lord Krishna, please do something. Apparently Krishna still exists in the universe of the aliens. Wait, it's not that he needs direct sunlight. It's just the bag <laughs> needs sun on it. <laughs> no, he's got his, his head solar panels there. Oh, you're right. Whoa. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Dude, these wires are so fun. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. The, yeah, this is like shallow in basketball. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, that was the craziest dog. Just freaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even close, so you just line drives it. It's <laughs> gonna be a fun day on set. Yeah, right? Yeah, that looks like a blast. So, this is like the foundation for how he's able to save airplanes. <laughs> no, how his son. <laughs> how his son. Saves airplanes. Eventually, yeah, gets powerful enough to save airplanes. 
All right, so the cops are chasing Jadu and the father. Guess what? It's not the aliens. It's the ragtag kids. Haha, -ha, where's Jadu? You're not going to find him. Where is he? <laughs> This is the guy that was in the wheelchair in the last action yeah, scene we just is, watched. Yeah, this is the guy in the wheelchair. That does not look right. Hold up. That did not look right. Why are his feet uh, off of the scooter? He's like half on. That just... That... <laughs> Wait, it loops back around. This is the ending shot of Crush 3, so it loops all the way back around to this movie? Yes. <laughs> this shot of him on oh. the scooter with the alien. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, we did going it. Going home, little buddy. Jadu! Jadu! We're saving him. Jadu! We're saving him. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Alien doors. Jadu, phone home. Jadu, phone home. <laughs> See, there's the other Jadus. All, all the Jabberwockies. Bye, Jadu. Give him a big kiss. Oh, the reflections in the eye? See, you, there's not a Bollywood movie without composited eye reflections. That stick to the eyes <laughs> as they move. <laughs> but they got the reflections in there. They did the job. Yeah, it's, it's hard to really talk about the effects in this film because it's more just like the context that supports these other massive superhero flicks that are coming out is really, I think, what makes it interesting. <laughs> but what a genre shift from like what we watched there with Krish 3 of like this like Marvel like superhero stuff to like these like wholesome like E.T. origins. Uh, so we should watch the trailer for Chris 4. Chris 4? Is it out? <laughs> no, but the trailer's out and you watch it and you're like, so this is why it was great to go backwards to the original and now watch this and go, so those children and the scooter and all that stuff led to this. Wait, Universal Fox Studio? <laughs> Wait. I, I think that's just the made up name. After eight years. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. The yeah. Oh, no! Yes, Jadu oh, is back. <laughs> Dude, like, look how crazy Whoa. this looks now, right? You're like, what? <laughs> Whoa, dude. Whoa, right? <laughs> yeah, that was a Lost in Space ship. Oh, am this I fake? Did I get <laughs> pranked? That is the Lost in Space robot. Okay, so we're gonna it be, was the Lost. We got in pranked. We got pranked. We got pranked by a fan trailer. Universal Fox Studios is too good to be true. Man, we got so hyped there for a moment, man. Dude, they just got me. Hey. Oh no. God dang it. Siata Sina Lina Nabuli. Means don't forget to subscribe. I saw you there. I saw you there almost forgetting. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm about to click. Oh, whoops. <laughs> this next film is called Fan. It's got Shah Rukh Khan in it. He likes to use visual effects to alter his appearance. He was the small guy. He was the small guy, exactly. And we saw that there was a lot of advanced stuff happening there. Yeah. And this movie was the precursor to that, where they first started experimenting with how far they could go with digitally altering his appearance. So this is him with his face changed. So this is the nerdy young version of him. Young Khan. And everything we're watching here, even the most minute details of this performance are being altered. And whoever's doing the effects work on this guy's movies is nailing it. It's our boys, Red Hot Chili. Of course. Oh! I knew it, love Red, Red Hot, Hot Chili. Chilies. Everything they do is so high quality and so, so good. Wow, so, so look that's at that. crazy. Wow. Yeah, right? It's, it's really, really well done. How do you think they do this type of like de-aging? They're probably doing a 3D track of his face with a face mesh. And they're taking the image and basically projection mapping it onto that mesh, which then gives them something static that they can paint and touch and alter, basically to remove blemishes on the skin and things like that. And since it's tracked to him, it's just there naturally. We actually talked about this in our episode with Joe Farrell, uh, and he did a great job explaining it. So go check out that episode if you haven't seen it. But I also think there's a little bit of warping and shaping going on, similar to how they did Chris Evans in Captain America, when they made him skinny. Not obviously that extreme, but I think they're doing a little face warping around well, they, that. Well, they do that every time they de-age an actor for those Marvel movies too, you know, where it's like you have older actors now playing their younger self, and it's more than just painting out wrinkles and whatnot. You have to like literally tighten up the face. Yeah. Because the face sags as you get older. Ears and noses like keep growing or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so you gotta like shrink all that, but do that proportionately correct. It's not just like shrinking it uniformly. It helps that they're just doing a little bit of weird warping so they don't have to like convince you it's a different person. It's just like it has to feel just a little different in a weird subtle way. You can really yeah. tell with the nose shape. They like really tighten up the younger version's nose. Do Red Chili's have a breakdown of any effects? Yes, they do have a breakdown of these effects. 
Okay, so they're doing the face shape with makeup. That's smart. That way you're not sitting there trying to warp his face shape all the time. You just, you got the makeup doing the face shape and you can just do the texture work later on in post. Wait, hold up. Uh, Wait, hold up. They painted out the background so they could do, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, I'm, what? This is what this I'm is saying. Shrunk There's so many down. patterns and lines to track that you have to get right to shrink his size. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You see that? They moved the dad in. Wow. I know, the move, the, it's like full George Lucas, like redoing shot composition. This and is horrifying. This is like scary how much work this is. Uh, yeah. And then the paint out around his shoulders, yeah. I saw some questions in the last VFX Artist React saying, what do you mean by painting in? You didn't explain it. All right, painting in is basically, you move something and it leaves a hole in your shot. Imagine cutting something out with scissors and you need to like patch that hole with parts of your image. When it needs to move, that gets more complicated. When the things that you're filling in the holes with are people that are actively moving, how are you filling in those holes? The sheer fabric, like when it's got wiggles and wrinkles and light coming through and stuff behind it moving and they're like patching that in somehow, it's crazy. Isn't that's crazy? Yeah, it is flawless. And the fact that you're watching it in motion, you can't see the patchwork. I mean, I'm willing to bet they probably got some clean plates. A good amount of clean plates for all these shots. It doesn't too. change anything. <laughs> it makes it still so hard. The first easiest way to paint something out is to use what's called a clean plate, where you actually have your actor get out of the shot so you can actually see the clean environment behind what you're going to try to cut out. And then you can just take that and then fill it in once you do cut the person out. Yeah, but the problem is clean plates uh, are only useful up to the point where something in the background starts moving. Let's say you have a person standing behind your actor. How do you get a clean plate of that actor? Well, you could maybe just film an entire take and rotoscope your actor and just slap him on top of it all. But we're seeing scenes here like him in the crowd there when they shrink him down. He's actually standing there in the crowd of those people. That's not a clean plate situation here. You have to basically rebuild using what? Like clone tools and tracking and it was, it was the exact thing I did to rebuild my leg in our first Boss Town video. He steps behind the reflective glass. So we're talking about clean plates as if they're behind someone. What if there is something that goes in front of them, like a reflective window? It looks like they had to rebuild that entire section of the store from plates, remove the reflections, apply the effects, and then slap artificial reflections back on. Yeah, you can see how they removed the reflection there. It's in yeah. front. It's super bright on the left, and now it's dim on the right. Maybe it's because you can see the crew. Is that the crew? Uh, there was definitely some people watching. <laughs> it kind of looks like either a crowd watching the scene or the crew. Cool. Well, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff in this film. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> <sighs> okay, one thing I love about Indian cinema is just how the characters can achieve almost anything they set their minds to. You know, all the rules about the confines of real life, they're gone. And courtesy of today's sponsor, Squarespace, you can do anything you set your mind to this year. All you need is a beautiful website, and Squarespace is gonna allow you to build that website without knowing anything about web design. Maybe you've got your own small business, maybe you've got a service, maybe you've got a product, and you wanna get those ideas out into the world. Well, you are going to need a website, and Squarespace offers you beautiful, award-winning templates with 24 seven customer service that allows you to build out and customize a website just for you. Now Squarespace has a bunch of great tools and we've been using them for years. One of my favorites is the multiple contributors tool. This allows you to give different people different levels of access to your Squarespace website, which allows everyone to contribute something different without having to use the same login, which is kind of awkward. They've also got a members area feature, which allows you to section off and give exclusive content to just members of your website. That's a really useful tool, especially when it comes to today's day and age and the subscription models that we've seen so often. And of course, Squarespace allows you to embed videos, embed audio, maybe you have a podcast or your own show, you wanna make sure that's featured on your website, Squarespace is gonna allow you to do that. They also have some of the best traffic overviews tools in the game, which allow you to understand how people come to your website, how they utilize it, and then allow you to better craft your website based on people's experiences. So anyways, guys, huge thanks to Squarespace. They've been a sponsor of this show for years. They've got a great tool and it's going to allow you to do something that you might not think is possible, just like Indian cinema. If you guys are interested in getting started for yourself, head on over to squarespace.com slash corridor crew and you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash corridor crew for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Anyways, wow. Huge thanks to them. Let's get back to this craziness. So I haven't seen a lot of Indian cinema, but I'm sure some of you have. 
So I want to see some of the craziest scenes from the last few years of cinema history here from India. So we're relying on all of you out there who are watching Indian cinema to help fill in the gaps for us because uh, there's a lot of content to get through. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know I look at the comments to try to get ideas for what we should look at next. So all of you Indian cinema enjoyers out there, help us out. Thank you. <laughs> enjoyers. We need enjoyers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. That was so much fun. I had no idea the Krish cinematic universe was so large, and I hope it just continues. Thank you so much for watching. We got more of these in the works. See you next week. <laughs>